Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So for the next four weeks, I'm going to introduce you to a new series called From Zero to Hero, okay? So I'm getting a lot of questions and emails from you guys saying that you're already playing, but you, you're lacking direction and you don't know where to start from. You've just bought a guitar, perhaps you're in lockdown or something like that and you're wanting to learn. So I'm gonna take you through from what techniques to use from the very basics from just one string up until you know playing your first chords and being able to strum them and then get into playing some songs, okay? So that's what we're gonna learn over the next four lessons. Let's zoom in and have a look at the very first one. So you'll notice I'm actually using a guitar pick for these lessons. This is just a nylon one mil uh, from Dunlop, okay? Others are available. Um, it doesn't really matter really. Yes, it's nylon, it gives you a different tone. You can use your fingers if you're not comfortable, fingers and thumb if you're not comfortable. But you know, that's just what I'm using to get the sound. This is a steel string guitar. If you have a nylon string or an electric, everything's gonna be exactly the same, guys, okay? I'm not gonna teach you anything that isn't gonna work on any other guitars, all right? So first of all, you know, what I'm gonna show you is how to get a grip of just playing a, across the fretboard. Lots of people go in and they think, right, I wanna learn Metallica, let's go in and learn that, and it's kind of, it's all this kind of crazy stuff, techniques that are beyond you right now. So let's start with a strong foundation and build our way up. And within a few weeks, you'll be able to start those Metallica songs, okay? So first of all, we've got six strings here, running from the thickest to the thinnest. We've got E, A, D, G, B, and E. That's very important you learn those. Um, Eddie ate dynamite, good by Eddie, or Every bad girl deserves an egg. It doesn't really matter how you remember them. It's very important to remember them because it'll help your learning speed up. So when I'm saying play the G string, you know where to find the G string. When I'm playing the bottom E string, you know this is the bottom string because we always talk about tone in music and this is the top E string because the tone is highest, okay? Obviously these are the low frets down here. And as you get up here, I've got a cutaway to allow me to get to these higher frets. Okay, that's what that's for. It doesn't matter if you haven't got one, I'm not really gonna be going over the 12th fret. Okay, which on your guitar, you'll probably have some dots. You see, I've got a double dot there, that just represents the 12. And I've got one here, three, five, seven, and nine. Okay, so it kind of makes sense. I've just got these little motifs where the dots should be, okay? So it's exactly the same, doesn't matter what guitar you're on. Now, let's start with an old tune that is quite interesting though, that gets you playing around the fretboard. So here are the notes. That's quite cool, right? And you can play it on any string actually, but we're gonna learn it on the, the top E string and the bottom E string. Okay, and when we add the pick in, Now it might look difficult, but actually it really isn't, so stick with me. Let's start off on the thinnest string, the top E string. And we're just gonna play an open, which means we're not using any hands, we're just playing the open string. Then we're playing in the first fret and make sure that you're behind the fret. So if you're here and you're getting this sort of sound, it means you're either not pushing down hard enough or you're not in the right position on the fret. So you always wanna try and get behind the fret as it'll sound nicer. As you come away from it, it's harder to push down here. So aim for behind the fret. So we've got O for open. One, four, five, seven. So let's start that for now. O, one, four, five, seven. Now, here I've always got my thumb sat on this imaginary line in the middle of the neck, okay? My thumb always holds there. You never wanna have the thumb down here. You always wanna be holding 
the guitar behind. So if you let go here, the guitar's not going to float away or anything. You're always holding it here with my thumb. Okay. So we've got O, oh, one, four, five, seven, eight, eleven, eight, seven. So I'm just counting the frets up, okay? O, oh, one, four, five, seven, eight, eleven, eight, seven. You don't have to go that fast, you can go really slow. O, oh, one, four, five, seven, eight, eleven, eight, seven. Now obviously I'm just giving you the fret numbers, they do have names, but we're not too worried about the names right now, okay? This is just going to help us get around this fretboard. Now we can do exactly the same on the lower string. So here we go, it's a bit more of a stretch, you might want to use your second finger because it's longer. I'm just going to use my first. Same thing again. O, one, four, five, seven, eight, eleven, eight, seven. So how you saw me playing it earlier was different picking. Okay? We don't have to start with this down up stuff, okay? Let's start it nice and simple. So instead of just doing one note, we're going to do multiple notes, okay? So we're going to go So if we count them like this, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do the same thing, but on the bottom E string, the low string. Here we go. One, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. And you can try it a little bit quicker. One, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. And you might be thinking, OMG, <laughs> there's no way I can play it that fast right now, but that's okay. This is something to work on every day and play around with. All right? So what we would do then really, um, is something my beginners despise, and it's when I ask them to do down-ups on this hand. What we're going to do, we're just going to keep using this bottom E string. And we're just going to learn this movement. Now see my wrist is kind of resting on the guitar here. I'm just going down, up, down, up. That's all I'm doing. I'm not touching the other strings. I want to use my wrist. I don't want to use my arm or my elbow. You end up there and you'll hit all the other strings and it'll just sound nasty. Use the wrist. Now you can also hear the scrape of the string, that's completely normal, don't worry about it, okay? So I'll go super slow. Down, up, 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 down, up. Now the worst thing you can do is try and count this stuff. Down, up, down, up, down, up. If you just do down up, 
and make sure you move this at the right time just by guessing it's going to sound good okay so this is just going down up it's not doing anything crazy here we go now the hardest thing is to start one two three one one two one two one two three I know this is too fast right it's just for an example let's slow it right down one two three one one two one two one two three one one two one two one two three four five six seven eight okay you can do as many as you like you can do it as fast or as slow as you like but the trick is to practice it and see if you can get the speed up then try it on the other strings okay and the original would have been something like Now that's a lot faster, okay, so I'm using a slightly different technique as well. But you don't need to worry about that right now, it's something to work towards. So that concludes our first lesson, just playing a riff on one string. I'm going to give you a little bit of bonus footage on the end, something that's very important that a lot of people tend to ignore. Now when we're playing E, it's a good thing to get into your ear how an E scale sounds, just an E major scale. Major scales like Do, Re, Mi, okay? This isn't very exciting to play, but it's very important to know and understand what's actually going on there. So, notice I've only used one finger during this entire lesson, and you can do the same, or if you're confident, you can use other fingers. So, this Do, Re, Mi, you can do it on, you know, the top E string. or the bottom string. Now I'm not going to show you those exact notes because what I want you to do, I want you to listen and see if you can work out where those notes land and to try and make a visual marker or, or a mental marker of where they go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, Do. So one thing you would have noticed, the 12th fret, Do, is the same as open Do, which means they're the same note. Now, anytime you play a scale, it should start and finish on the same note. Now you can do that on the top E string, here we go. So that would be very important to know. Next week I'm going to show you how to form some chords and I'll show you how to play the scales for all the chords and obviously I'll, I'm going to teach you something cool as well, a little song, alright? Now, one very last thing, if you're still struggling, struggling with this little song which is called Mazulu and uh, I think it's like Egyptian originally, it was used in various films and stuff like that but um, if you're struggling with that then just look, everyone, the most popular and famous song in the world is probably Happy Birthday, okay? I've done an entire video on it. Check out the link below, you can find a video. And it's just really simple. It's all on one string. Okay, so you can find that down below as well. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to tune in next time for part two. I'll make sure I put the link below when it's uploaded and ready. If you'd like to support me over here, I've set up a donation button on my website as I don't get paid for these lessons, guys, so any spare change you have would be muchly appreciated. There's some links below to Spotify playlist, uh, Instagram and Facebook links to keep you updated to all my videos. And I look forward to seeing you again next week.